Okay, so uh, in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and build out these little bolts. Uh, unfortunately there isn't a star shape that we can use as a, as a starting primitive to, to do our negative cut. So I'm actually going to make a slot and uh, clone it three times, and rotate each clone uh, 60 degrees, and then we'll basically just make the star shape from that. So let's head over to Fusion. Uh, I'm going to do a Create Cylinder. And uh, I don't think I actually grabbed the center of that. It's, it'll it'll want to get the center by default, so let me try that one more time. There we are. And I'm going to go all the way to the edge. And then I'm just going to basically set this to new body. And now we can hide the other geometry. Go to modify and fill it. And if we look at the reference, it has a pretty good curvature to the surface. It's a little bit different. This one feels a little bit flatter, maybe because of that uh, one. They wanted to make room for the the clip thing, but I think we'll probably be okay so long as our top surface is flush with the handle. So as long as we make that happen, we should be in good shape. And let's just confirm that's where we're at now. Yeah, I think that's fine. So let's hide this stuff again. I'm going to go to uh, sketch mode here. So we'll create sketch and click on that surface. I don't actually want that surface to be part of the sketch though, so I'm going to do a little select and delete. Um, but I do want there to be a center point that I can use because I'm going to be doing some uh, s some shapes here. This uh, where is it? Slot uh, that wants a center point. So I'm actually going to stop the sketch or just hit undo a couple times. Back out of here. And I need to make a little uh, a little construction point here. So if I go to construct and then uh, point at center of circle and then go ahead and select that circle. Now I've got a point. So I can go to modify, oh sorry, uh, sketch, create sketch. And we'll make a new sketch on the surface here. I'm gonna make a slot that is the center point slot. Whoops, that needs to be a little bit better as far as its verticalness. I think something like that will be okay. We want it to be a little bit, we want these outside pieces to be a little bit small so that we can go, well, the, the inside radi radius is, or radii can be a little bit bigger. So we'll get that star shape. So I'm gonna hit okay and select these outside edges, hit control C and control V. And it's gonna wanna put the pivot out here. I need to move that by hitting set pivot, clicking where I want the new pivot to go and then clicking set pivot again. So this will rotate 60 degrees, and I'll hit OK. And then I'm gonna hit Control V one more time, paste in a, a, another instance of it, and this one, say OK to the set pivot. I'll rotate 60 degrees this way, and hit OK. And now I'm gonna get in here and do some trimming. And we'll just basically get rid of all of these inside edges. All right, say okay, and now I'm gonna fill it. So actually, you know, uh, well, probably doesn't make a difference. I could fill it, uh, the geometry, but I think it'll be fine to do it here as well. So I'm just doing some shift selects here. And let's go ahead and kind of pull it out so it's like that maybe, I hit okay. All right, so that's gonna be my negative shape. Let's go ahead and do a press pull. I hit OK. And I'm going to come over here and do a little bit of a fillet on the outside edge. We'll say like 0.1. Yeah. And then maybe something similar in here. Not that you'll ever see it. Same deal, 0.1, just to kind of round it out. I'm going to do this for a lot of the ge uh, geometry, but because I'm going to clone this, I want to go ahead and, and uh, just make that happen now. And, you know, there may be, well, no, I think it's okay. I was going to try to maybe consider slanting this edge, but I, I think that's going to be overkill. That's probably fine. All right, so let's show everything. Go to the left view here. 
I'm going to select that, hit Control C and Control V, and we will just kind of put this one here, and then hit Enter, and one more time. I'm going to have to obviously scale that. Control C, Control V, and there. So let's hide the the uh, handle stuff here and put a construction point there and there. Oops, let me try that one more time. Uh, there we are. So let's go ahead and show these things again. So now I can scale it, scale each one of these from their appropriate locations and kind of move them and stuff. All right, so that's going to be this guy. You can see when I mouse over it, it lights up. Body 43 over here lights up. Makes it a little easier to find it. And uh, so modify and scale. So for the point, we'll grab this point and we'll go to a uniform scale. And hit OK. And now I'm going to do a move. And then let's scoot it a little bit closer to the surface. And we'll do the same thing to this one over here. Which is actually scaled about right. I probably you could probably move it, but I don't I don't well it, it needs to be over this, so then we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll do a move. And we'll just kind of scoot it so that it is at least kind of potentially visually above where that little those little cable or the uh, little uh, tube things are. That could probably be a little bit flatter, but I think it's all right. So now we're going to do a mirror. Uh, so it's going to be in Create Mirror, and then I will grab these three pieces of geometry. And for our mirror plane, I'll grab this work plane here. And I think that's looking pretty good. There's a couple things that we can do. We can put a little fillet on that edge, so let's do that. To a radius of one, I think that looks fine. And so this is the edge, this surface here would be bent in to about that point. So I may bend it, but I'd probably do it in, in ZBrush or something when it, you can just kind of mask this off and, and uh, do a transpose on that, super easy. But for this, I'm gonna do a press pull. And just kind of try to line that up a little bit better. Doesn't look like they actually conform too well. So maybe pulling it out like this, and then we can do a little uh, split body on that so that these two surfaces line up nicely. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to uh, go to sketch. Actually, we don't even need to make a body, or make a line. Just go modify, split body, grab the knife, splitting tool, grab that face. Isn't that nice? All right, so there's the new piece of geometry. So we can go ahead and do a remove on that. So now when we bend this piece of geometry, it will conform to exactly the back of that blade. And I have no idea what it's supposed to look like up there, but I do know there's a pretty big gap there. Maybe we can find it in our reference. Let's take a look. Let's kind of scrub through here. There's our top view. So it looks like it's rounded in the back. And there's some other stuff going there. Oh, also we forgot that hole there. So we can definitely go in and add that. So add a fillet there. And let's turn our canvas back on. And I'm gonna make a cylinder on this surface here. And we are just going to drag it straight through to the other side. Hi, 
hide that canvas. And that is, I suppose, where the lanyard would go or something. All right, so getting pretty close to this thing being sort of done from the modeling perspective. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna go in and do things like fill it some of these edges, all that kind of nice stuff that really takes it uh, from being kind of a, um, a low poly model into looking like something that's actually been manufactured uh, and will bake uh, nicer normals, I think. So uh, definitely stick around for that.